So, um, yesterday Sunday, I was invited to come and speak at a team's event, right? Um, a youth event. So, after church, I ran down to the venue to talk to youth about how to, how to build a life. And I never know to me myself, I'm the old because, whoa, I'm in my 30s and I found out that the children graduating these days. When I graduated, we were in primary theory, you know. But long story short, I was discussing with one of the young guys who just graduated. He has graduated for two years. And I said, what do you do now? He said, he's looking for a job. I said, it's not possible. You can't be looking for a job for two years. I said, you don't work for any company. He said, no. I said, it's not possible. Right? You know, people people are quick to say there's no job in Nigeria. There's no job in Nigeria. But that's not true. Now, you never see the type where you defined. Work full everywhere. Now, university type where you define. And I say, bro, have you not ever gotten an offer to come and work? He said, yes. But the salary was too small. He can't go and be working with his graduate certificate and be collecting 40,000 naira. And that is what I want to talk about today. Young men, I'm not going to talk to women. And men, I won't talk to. Because women, eh, they get seven lives. They will always survive. There's a high probability for women to survive. But you see, we as men, bro, one mistake can ruin your life. One. If woman graduates, if you don't work, you don't get a certificate, you don't get experience, you go see better husband, we go marry her. If you don't see better husband, we go marry her. Even if a poor man is married, if her brothers they do well, they go help her. But you see, you as a man, if you don't get, you don't go see better wife who will marry you. It's highly unlikely for you to see a rich woman marry you. So let's make sure that we don't make some serious mistakes in life. When you graduate from school, that's not the time to look for a good paying job. I repeat, that is not the time to look for a good paying job. That is the time to look for a job in the industry you want to grow in. So let's say you want to be in the banking industry. You can't graduate at the age of 25. You see that 25 to 30 is a critical stage. Get a job in that industry. Whether they are paying you or not, just get a job. I repeat, whether they are paying you or not, my brother, just get a job. That is the age where you can enter the industry for small payments. They will send you up and down. They will tell you, oh, go do this. Carry this fire, go get this person. Why are you not doing this? They can shout at you anyhow. Because you'll be like small picking for their eye. But what you'll be doing at that time is that you're gathering experience and you're learning. So by the time you become 28, you have already had three years of experience in that industry. You are now becoming a professional. The ones that people in that industry will sought after. For this country, what we do, what we say, work on no day. Some people, they empty and glow, they beg them, they come. Some people, they want to chevron, they beg them. Some people, they first bank. Central bank, they pitch for them. I know you define work, you don't see. The company, they beg some people. Why? Because those people have experience in that field. Gather experience first, leave money. The money will come once you have the experience. You see, you graduate at 24. You will find work reach 28, 29. You never see nobody will employ you again. Because you have no experience. And you are not who they can put in the company and be sending messages in there. You know the old. You don't be 29. I have a certificate in chemical engineering. I can't use it anymore. Nobody will employ me. Here's Sharon specialist know what I'm talking about. The fact that somebody has graduated for five years and there's nothing in the person's CV. Is a turn down. So please get into that particular industry you like to be. If now oil and gas, just find any oil company, anyone. Even if that one where they sell gas or filling station, just the first. You go there your CV. So 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 position at so so oil and gas. So the day we check on one employee, they don't say okay, you never work for big company, but you have been in this field. 
So they don't need to pick you up from the scratch. When you want carry picking, now the one way raise hand, now you they carry. Raise your hand. Let there be an advantage in your CV. I have worked year and year. You want to be a top lawyer, find a firm and attach to. Hey, how do they be paying the only lawyer 50,000 per month? My God, I work first. Hey, a senior advocate, a senior advocate want to pay me 50,000. Don't work. Work, make it in your CV. You have three years of experience under senior advocate of Nigeria. So, 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 shamba. Nobody knows how 50,000 they pay you. Now, you know that one. When you come and meet me and I tell you I need a lawyer, you tell me that you've worked for five years under the shambles of Femi Falano. I believe you know what you're doing. I don't know whether you've been paid well. I don't believe say, this guy spent five years on that place. He knows the job. So my youth, I want to beg you. Use the age you use from the time you graduate till you reach 28. Use a gather experience. At 28 to 30, you will now become the hot cake in the market. So that at 30, when you don't marry, you don't take one kind of managerial position for your field. Experience is good. Salary will be good. And then you can even think of setting up your own in that field. But at 28, you never work. Somebody will come tell you, say, be like you marry. When you marry, your wife will bring good luck. That is one of the biggest lies I've heard in this life. Most of the men I know where they suffer are all married. Then when you marry, finish, good luck, never call. They'll come tell you, say, man, you born. Where you born? The picking will bring money when you go to shop. Another stupid land, if you believe it, you are a mumu. You call born one. You can start to hustle money for rent, baby food, pampas, family feeding. That time, any mumu work you see, you can take her. Now, then you see my strong men with a say shin shin for road. And they are graduates. They tell you, yeah, I went to school, though. Now, Nigeria situation put me here. No, now you pull yourself. And by the time you born one, when you struggle, struggle, struggle with that one, before you know your wife, don't get me like, you don't born two. Before you know 10 years don't pass, 15 years don't pass, they don't call the talk say you go make them again. They call say you're picking, go make them. They don't forget you. Don't make that mistake of looking for money. Immediately you finish school. Build your certificate. Build your CV. Get experience in your field. You need it tomorrow.